Philadelphia 76ers have officially hired their new CEO, Mr. Thaddeus Tad Brown. Welcome to the Sixers Nation. Perfect. 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 What is going on, everybody? RB here. Welcome back on into Philly Take with RB. You already know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Hit that subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell. That way you are instantly notified anytime I upload or go live doing all of those things really does help out us content creators so i deeply appreciate it thank you very much today we're back with the breaking news yes the sixers have gone out and finally found their match in their new ceo mr thaddeus brown welcome to the sixers family if you guys have been out of the loop for you know a couple weeks now longtime ceo of eight years mr scott o'neill decided to resign from the Sixers, I'm guessing he has other business ventures or other things he would like to do with his life. Um, and Joshua Harris and David Blitzer, obviously Harris and Blitzer Sports Entertainment, decided to go out and they finally found their guy. So we are going to uh, read a few things from the article here today. As you can see, the Sixers hire Thaddeus Brown as the organization CEO. Yes, we have another Brown um, in stake here. Not Brett Brown, but Thaddeus Brown. Um, Thaddeus Brown, the former Rockets executive, will be the CEO of Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment, which operates the Sixers. Um, they announced today that Thaddeus Brown has been named chief executive officer. In his role, he will oversee all business and growth functions for the HBSC brand and its properties, including the Sixers, New Jersey Devils, and the Prudential Center, aka where the Devils play. And obviously, if you know anything about Harris Splitzer Sports and Entertainment, um, they run the Sixers, they run the Devils. And, you know, I remember they were trying to make some kind of like uh, regional sports network with the New York teams. I don't know if that ever happened or will. Um, but, you know, these guys, these are business guys. And um, honestly, I have to give them some credit. You know, I, a lot of my old videos, I used to hate on these guys. And, you know, nobody really liked Josh Harris and David Blitzer. But um, all the way up until this year, you know, they were always sticking their noses in, in basketball operations, right? These are business guys. They have business mindsets. They're supposed to grow the value and, and the overall just business of the organization. And they were always putting too much input into basketball decisions. But I have to give them credit this year. What did they do? They, they took their paw prints off. They got their nose out of the business. They stepped back and they said, you know what? We brought guys like Daryl Morey in here. We are going to let them go ahead and uh and, and control everything and make the right decisions and make decisions from a basketball mindset um we really haven't heard much this year about harris and blitzer um and i hope that that continues going forward in the future and i hope um our new ceo here mr brown can come in and uh you know continue to help grow this organization uh, all i've heard is good things so far um he will oversee the business and growth functions um Here's a, a statement from Josh Harris. We are thrilled to welcome Tad to the HBSE family. He's an exceptional leader in our industry, one with a deep passion for innovation and community engagement. Nearly 20 years experience leading the Houston Rockets and Toyota Center. We're confident he will bring a fresh new, uh, a fresh energy and new ideas to our teams, organizations, and local communities. Ted had, Tad has an extensive record of success in the sports and entertainment industry, and we are excited to have him on board to lead our elite management team for HBSC's next chapter, said David Blitzer. Um, and here's a little bit about his history. I don't really know too much about him, but apparently Thaddeus Brown um, spent almost two decades with the Houston Rockets, toy, uh, the Toyota Center, and Clutch City Sports and Entertainment. 15 were spent as the CEO. In his role in Houston, he was a member of the NBA Board of Gov, and he served as a representative to the executive committee, served on the league's media committee. Brown helped position the Rockets as one of the NBA's premier global franchises, as well as a cornerstone of the Houston community. Um, here's a little more about what he did. Creation of the Houston Regional Sports Network. Um, sounds like a perfect match for Mr. Blitzer and Mr. Harris. Um, in 2017, he orchestrated the sale of the Rockets to Tillman Fertitta. Um, he's done, as you can see, a lot of charity work, like they said. And uh, here's a little bit about him and Daryl Morey. So obviously, Daryl Morey probably had his ties with this as well. Thaddeus Brown reunites him with his longtime friend and colleague Daryl Morey, Sixers president of basketball ops during their time together in Houston. From 2007 to 2020, the Rockets compiled a 640 and 400 record, the second best 
of any NBA team while becoming one of the NBA's most successful franchise. So these guys came in there. Um, guys like Thaddeus Brown came in and were able to create a lot of value for the organization. You'll probably see some ticket prices go up. Um, I feel like I feel like this is going to be a guy that can come in here and really make us more of a, a I guess, a name brand, if you want to call it, or, you know, just put us out there a little bit more. Hopefully he can do that. Um, but again, hopefully he kind of goes on the track that we saw Josh Harris and David Blitzer go this year and just kind of keep their hands off of the basketball stuff. You know what I mean? Just handle the business side of it um, and do their thing, you know? And here's what Thaddeus Brown said. I want to thank Josh Harris and David Blitzer for the incredible opportunity to lead HBSC in its next chapter. This role not only allows me to work for innovators like Josh and Dave, it also allows me to work alongside some of the industry's best talent that has been assembled across the HBSC organization. This is a world-class sports and entertainment organization that cares about the cities and fans it serves. My family and I are thrilled to begin our new journey, and I'm eager to help guide HBSC to greater heights. Um, we're excited to have you here. Obviously, this doesn't mean a lot for the basketball side of things, but uh, we're excited to have you. Obviously, Scott O'Neill was tied for a long time to some of the bad things with this organization, right? Tanking and having too much input on certain trades and stuff. Hopefully, uh, we have a really good executive here who's going to continue to grow the brand of the Sixers. Just wanted to throw this news out there. Welcome, Mr. Thaddeus Brown. And with that being said, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.